Have you just tried to open up a game or program and something like this showed up? Well, that's called a missing DLL error and sucks because it won't let you start up your program until we provide the missing DLL file. But don't throw your PC out the window yet cause we have two ways of fixing it. I'm running on Windows 11 here, but this will also work fine for Windows 10, 8 or 7. Ok, let's get started. Method number 1 is to install the DLL file ourselves. For this, head over to our website by clicking the link in the description or in the i symbol in the upper right corner. First off, scroll a bit down to the download section and here we need to download the 64 and the 32 bit file. After downloading the files, we can open them up and keep track which is which because both the 32 and 64 bit have the exact same name. Now we need to open our explorer and head over to our main PC, then into the C drive and then into the Windows folder. Now scroll all the way down until you can see the folder called System32 and SysWow64. Here drag the 64 bit file into the System32 folder and the 32 bit file into the SysWow64 folder. On a side note, if you are using a 32-bit Windows 10, 8 or 7, you are not going to have a SysWow64 folder. In that case, only copy-paste the 32-bit file into the System32 folder. Now you can close all of these windows and restart your PC. And after a fresh restart of your PC, the program that was showing you the DLL error should now be detecting the DLL correctly and open up just fine. But there are instances where the program just doesn't want to find the DLL, there are. And for these cases we have a method number 2. There is a package from Microsoft themselves called Visual C++ Redistributable that contains the DLL and should fix the error if it hasn't been done before. So let's go back to our website with the method 2 link in the description or the i symbol in the upper right corner. Here again scroll all the way down until you see the download section and download the package according to your windows. If you are running Windows 11, it's 64-bit no matter what. If you are running something older like Windows 10, 8 or 7, you need to know if you are running a 32 or a 64-bit version. To find it out, simply open up your startup menu and search for System with the subcategory control panel. Once opened, we can find the bit amount in the same line as system type. And then back on our website, choose the file according to your system. 64-bit for 64-bit users and 32-bit for 32-bit users. Once downloaded, open the installer, check the mark saying I agree, click on install and just wait until the installation is finished. Once everything is done, just like before, restart your PC and the program should start up just fine and you can do whatever you want it to do. Ok, I hope you got your problem resolved and you can now use whatever program you wanted to use. I know a bit which program can cause which DLL errors, but I would love to know for every DLL, so please let me know what exact program as a comment down below. And if you encounter a DLL error that has not been featured on the channel yet, don't be shy, just write a comment down below and I will add it to my to-do list. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and if it helped, leave a like, make sure to be subscribed with the bell icon to not miss the next video and have a look at one of these totally random videos.